Okay, so welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, topic for today is, is quite an interesting one, and I think um, in the world of recruitment, there's often a lot of debate about this subject. Uh, we're gonna talk about whether you hire junior staff as or junior recruiters in a 180 role, so they only deal with candidates, or a 360 role where they do the whole thing, basically. Yes, uh, so first of all, let uh, me explain a little bit about actually uh, what's the difference between the 360 and 180 model for people that actually not that familiar with the uh, jargon of uh, recruitment companies? Um, so a 360 model is basically where a consultant handle client and candidates at the same time and does everything in between from screening the candidate to negotiating an offer and closing the deal basically. Uh, the 180 model is, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm you only do uh, the candidate side of things. So usually most companies, you do generate the candidate, you screen it, you might pitch certain jobs, and then you will pass that application to a more experienced recruiter that will then sell the candidate to the client, basically. For us, we've always been huge fans of the uh, 360 model. We never really believe in, in the 180 model, especially in a market like Japan. And, um, and yeah, there's certainly some pro and cons, you know, pro and cons on, on, on those two models. And uh, what do you think are the pros, mate? I think there's a lot. I mean, I think, um, I guess the basic reason why a lot of companies start people in a 180 model is they think that maybe the client side is a little more difficult. Yeah. And you can kind of learn your trade, deal with the candidates first, and then maybe if you're good enough, you can become a full recruiter. But, you know, I think, you probably got your own kind of ideas, but for me, we've always had the philosophy that why don't you just hire somebody good enough to do the full job from the beginning? Right. If you don't have the faith in their ability to deal with clients from the start, then maybe you shouldn't be hiring that person. No, that's how we've always felt. So we've always gone for hire the people that can do the do the job properly. I think for me, if I what I always loved about recruitment is I love the fact that you're in control of your own destiny. So. Whatever results you get, it's down to your hard work. You're in control of how well you do. You're in control of your whole career. And I think if you start in a 180 role, as well as being a little bit boring, I think you know you get a great candidate, but then you have to pass that candidate to somebody else. And if that person's good, they might make a placement and you might make some money. But it depends on how good the people are that you're passing the, the candidates to. So you could be great at your job, and yet still not be hugely successful because the other people in your team aren't as good. So I've always loved giving people that control over their own destiny and, and let them, you know, have a fast career if necessary. Yeah, absolutely. I think like the, the uh, 180 model is maybe a little bit more popular in Japan because mm. Japan is heavily uh, candidate short and candidate driven market. So <clears throat> for some company it might make sense uh, thinking about having a dedicated person source candidate to increase the number of candidates. But what we found in our uh, sort of experience actually, you can hire really good 360 and you know, you don't really compromise on the amount of candidates that they generate. And sometimes, you know, uh, again, it's, this is just my idea. I think some people might might, might, uh, might disagree with that. I think having a researcher makes actually the, the 360 consultant or the account manager a little bit lazier in, in generating their own candidate and, and kind of uh, uh, it's not really beneficial for the overall growth of the business at the end. Yeah, I mean, I've seen several cases as well where someone has come into a 180 role, done really well, killed it, generated loads of candidates, and then there's kind of not an incentive to promote that person because yeah. the rest of the team's thinking, hey, I'm not good at this guy. <laughs> she or he is absolutely killing it. They're bringing us loads of candidates. We're making loads of money. Do we really want to move this person to 360 and lose lose that candidate generation? Maybe so, take some of my clients as well. Yeah. Right. So I think, um, yeah, we're all about empowering people to to have the career they want to have and you know really develop quickly if they have the ability to develop quickly. Uh, so that's what we do. And um, for us, it's worked. You know, I think on average in our business, if you join us as an associate consultant, nearly everybody makes a placement in the first two months. Which, hey, if you're in another market, by the way, in China or in the UK or wherever, where the market's a bit quicker, you might think, well, it's not that impressive. But in Japan, it's pretty impressive. If you're making a placement in the first one or two months with no experience, 
you're uh, you're doing really well, and that's what happens with us. Yeah, of course, you know, like the you know the 360 model, it's a bit uh, more demanding, I think, at the beginning of your career because you know the amount of information you take in is more simply because you just do more of the job and. You know, you go deeper into the process and you are exposed to business development literally from day one mm. in our case. However, I think, again, our philosophy is to hire people that they're confident enough, they're driven enough, that they are willing to take that extra amount of information and they can convert that information into, into deals and into, you know, into money, really. Uh, but yeah, for us it's working. So um, if you are somebody that, you know, had that, uh, that thing, you know, that, uh, uh, that panache <laughs> yeah. that can handle both at the same time, you know, we're hiring.